hey guys welcome back to my channel my name's Elise and today I'm going to be showing you how I made a lace frontal wig on my sewing machine so as you can see I got this hair from Malaika official store on Aliexpress I'll leave the link to the hair in the description so when I opened the bag I received a Tony and Guy anti-static hair comb two wig caps, um, a 20 inch 13 by 4 frontal and then the bundles in the 24, 26 and 28 inches. So that's just a close up of the bundle. So you'll be needing a dome cap, and I usually use the mesh one, a wig head, your needle and thread. Now I'm just setting up the sewing machine and these are my settings. So because my head is small, I'm just going to show you guys how I'm resizing my cap. So I'm just drawing two lines about an inch and a half um, apart. So I'm just going to fold the cap in half so that the lines are meeting on each side and then I'm going to stitch a, um, a zigzag stitch down the line that I've created. So once you've stitched that line, it's going to look just like this and you obviously don't want the top sticking out. So you're going to um, fold it down so that the is flat and then you're going to stitch another zigzag stitch down the side of it just so that that piece is flat. As you can see, my wig head has been through a lot, so don't watch her. <laughs> um, but so I placed my wig cap on the head and just pinned that down. And now I'm gonna place my frontal onto the wig. Um, to make sure that my frontal is um, on the center of my wig cap, I usually just fold it in half and like cut a slit on the lace in the middle so that I can line it up with my uh, wig cap. And I usually place my frontal around an inch um, in front of the wig cap. Then I just tie the frontal hairs into a little pony and I begin to hand stitch the frontal to the wig cap. Once you've stitched it, it's probably going to look something like this, or maybe better. My stitch is a bit wonky, but I don't mind since the wig is for me. Uh, then I took my chalk and I started to um, create lines of where I'm going to place the bundles. But I actually recommend a Sharpie because my chalk wasn't working very well. Hence why my lines are embarrassingly not straight. <laughs> but... Um, as you can see, all the lines are about an inch apart, except from like the ones that are closer to the front, they're a bit closer together. So moving on to the bundles, I like to firstly roll the bundle out. And once you get to the end, um, you're going to be sewing the two, the two sides of the track together using a zigzag stitch 
and the key to this is not to put them on top of each other but they need to be next to each other just like I'm showing you. If you're a beginner with the sewing machine I actually recommend that you go at a slower pace than I am just because the tracks sort of slide and um, it can be really easy to mess this up and it's better to just do it slowly and get this part right. And I've actually found that if this step of the wig making isn't done correctly, you run the risk of your wig not being as durable as you would have liked it to be in because the wefts are not joined together properly. So when you're combing the wig out, you know, the stitches might become a little bit loose. So make sure that you're actually doing this properly. So now it's time to sew the weft to the wig cap and one of the most important um, tips that I can give at this stage is to make sure that you don't stretch the wig cap when you're guiding it through the sewing machine and the reason for this is so that you can achieve a flat looking wig. And another really important thing is to backstitch when you start and finish a track on the wig cap. And this is so that your wig has extra security. So now I'm cutting off the end of my first track. Um, and this is what it basically looks like. As you can see, there's no bunching. Um, and it's looking quite flat. So once I've sewn most of the tracks, this is what it looks like. And for the next three to four rows, I continue to use the double tracked wefts. Um, but once I got to the last two rows, you want to be using a single weft um, and this is because you want the flattest install possible you don't want it to be bulky near the top as you can see this is what a single weft looks like and for the last two tracks this is what you will sew onto the wig cap So I'm sitting here editing the video and I've realised that I'm missing some of the footage of me completing the wig. So here's a video of me wearing the hair. Um, it, I've had it for about four months now and the quality is still amazing. So here's some pictures of me wearing the wig. I did cut it. Um, it still holds um, an amazing curl. Um, I've had minimal shedding. Um, so overall I'd say the hair was pretty worth it. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.